Hey, welcome back. Simon Lee is here again. I've got a pro guitar tip for you. Uh, this is a, a technique that's, uh, that I use a hell of a lot. I've already talked about pick scrapes, which is another technique that I use a lot. This technique, I kind of use the same way as a pick scrape. I kind of use it as a way of leading in out of one section and into another uh, a lot of the time. Um, now, I've talked about harmonics before. The, the, to the, the harmonics I've mentioned are natural harmonics, pinched harmonics, tapped harmonics. This is a harmonic roll, and uh, the reason it's called a roll is because uh, you kind of do a roll in um, a sequence of hammer-ons and pull-offs on one of the strings, you know. I tend to use the G string because the G string is quite effective. So my left hand does this thing. Uh, so I tend to just go just hammer on the 4th fret, pull off to the 2nd fret, and then pull off to the open string. So it's like Figaro, or Three Blind Mice, whichever you prefer. So it's like... Now it doesn't matter that I'm getting some extra noise in there, um, because the other half of this technique is what you do with your right hand, your picking hand. Now I got this from watching a uh, Van Halen concert on the TV. It was the Live Without a Net uh, show and it was broadcast, I think it was about 1987. Um, so this was from the 51-50 tour where Sammy Hagar was, was their singer. Uh, and it was the first time I'd really watched Van Halen play, you know. Um, I mean, I'd heard his music, but, it, but we, we didn't have satellite TV or anything like that, so MTV wasn't an option. Uh, and uh, yeah, so when this thing came on TV, it was, it was, it was great. It gave me the chance to sort of look at all the different techniques that he did. And he did absolutely loads. Um, and it's one of the, I've, I've said this before about the guitar, you know, there's things that you can do on the guitar that you can't really do on anything else. And it just makes the guitar so much more expressive than other instruments because there's more ways you can, you can be expressive on the guitar. So, uh, I've mentioned what the left hand does, the, the, the Figaro bit. So what your right hand has to do, I tend to use kind of the edge, well, not so much the edge of my palm, but probably the edge of my little finger. And what that does, is I just rest it really lightly on on top of the strings. It's touching all the strings pretty much, um, but really, really lightly. And what happens is when I do that um, that Figaro pull off thing, and then I gradually move my little finger towards the the fretboard. So I will start off pretty close to the bridge, and then I just gradually move, slide it towards the fretboard, but not putting too much pressure on the strings. If you do that, you'll just kill it. You know, so the lighter touch you've got, the more, the louder the, the, this harmonic roll is going to be. So. So when you get to maybe half an inch from the bridge pickup. That's when it starts to kick in. You start to hear the high harmonics, uh, and then the harmonics, the, the pitch of, it, uh, of the harmonics, kind of decreases as you get towards the um, the end of the neck, and it becomes more louder, you know, clearer. Now, for this, um, one thing that helps is distortion. It will work clean, but it's much more difficult and you've got to be even more precise and get the pressure exactly right. Um, also, it's not as effective on the neck pickup. I mean, I can try it. Um, but... Actually, <laughs> no, it's not too bad. Um, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> but, I don't know, I still prefer... You don't get so much of the, the thump of the hammer on uh, when you use the, the bridge pickup. It's, it's, it's sort of, uh, it's just a tiny bit sharper. So, yeah, so I, I'd, I would still stick to that, I think. Um, but yeah, it works on the fatter strings. Not so much on the thinner strings. You need a string that's got a bit of substance to it for this to work. The trouble with the thinner strings is 
um, you've got to be so light with your the, the edge of your little finger that you you, you just end up killing it. So, uh, so if you use the fatter strings, it seems to work a bit better. So try the D string. It's a fine line between getting the and then getting the getting that sound, you know. So it's uh, it's if you've ever heard a ring modulator which is the effect that Tony Iommi used on the Paranoid guitar solo. It sounds like the amp's broke, basically. It's kind of like that, but without having to plug into any extra effects or anything like that. Yeah, the, the E string sounds quite good, but I don't know. I think for, for sort of... To, to make it easy to do it in the middle of something, you know, you might have some, I don't know, trying to think of a, um, a sort of song example that I could use it on, you know. Um, I'll just make something up. So. Yeah, um, that wasn't very impressive, but <laughs> it's uh, some situations, I guess, work better than others, you know. But um, but it's just something I don't know. I kind of I, I suffer with a bit of Tourette's when it comes to the guitar, you know. And it's and it's, it's like if there's a space, um, you know. I've got to fill it, you know. It's it's as simple as that. Um, so it's uh, so yeah, it's it's an alternative to to doing pig scrapes, you know. So there you go, the, the, the harmonic roll. There's one last sort of method of of playing harmonics, which um, which I saw Jakey e. Lee do on when he played his guitar solo in the middle of the concert during the Ultimate Sin tour. Um, he, did a, he did a kind of weird thing where he sort of, mainly on the, on the fat E string, he kind of did this rolling thing with his fingers. You can actually, if you hit the, right, the string in the right place, you can actually create a bit of a tune. That was a fun. How, how you do that? First of all, you've got to find the point along the string, um, which is where the 24th fret would have been if I'd got a guitar with 24 frets. If you've got an Ibanez or a Jackson, something like that, um, you, you, you'll have a 24th fret anyway. Now you notice, I'm actually. Well, you say you might not notice, but uh, if I do it from the side, I've got these fingers curled round. I say if, I, if I've got a plectrum, it'd probably work the same way. I'll, I'll probably just curl my plectrum in those fingers. And because the thing with harmonics is it's all about a light, having a light touch. You can't afford to touch the string too heavily because you'll just dampen it. Uh, so. So what I do, I, I kind of arrange my hands so that my knuckles actually hit hit the guitar to stop um, to stop my first finger from sort of going in too deep, if you like, to, to, to sort of so my first finger doesn't kind of you know bend the string because again, if you do that, you'll get nothing. Once I've made the harmonic. I try and get my finger away as quickly as possible. Now I'm not sort of, you know, taking it miles away. I 
I'm just sort of, as soon as my fingers hit the string, I'm just lifting it very, very slightly. And that just allows the string to, to carry on ringing out, you know. So that's another good one. That, So you, you, you get used to your own guitar, you know, so where the, um, these node points that I mentioned on the, um, on the Pinched Harmonics video last week, uh, you kind of get used to where these node points are, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. It's always disappointing when you miss it, but um, <laughs> practice makes perfect, isn't it? So that's something I don't use that an awful lot. Uh, I'm, I'm more inclined to use tap harmonics, which I mentioned on another video, you know, so check that out if you can. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's, that's the harmonic roll, and uh, I haven't got a name for this. This is just the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see if, you, see if you can invent a name and then we'll, we'll use that. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you find that useful. And it's fun at the end of the day. It's another fun thing you can do on the guitar, which you can't really do on a, anything else, you know. So, uh, yeah, take care and I'll see you soon.